we're in a new location today because I feel like doing a closet clean out. And by that I mean going through what's in my closet and deciding if I want it. Because the idea is to get rid of things to make room for new things. If you hear someone in the background, it's my husband playing remnants. And there's nowhere in the house that you can't hear him. So we're just gonna go with it. This is my closet that I do share with my husband. Um, we're on the ground, so most of what you see now, my clothes are on the bottom. And then all of my dresses and things are up there. And I just wanna go through, purge some things. I also am gonna purge some shoes. And we're just gonna discuss kind of what I have in my wardrobe. I like it when other people do videos like this because I'm interested to see what clothes they have. So I thought y'all might like it. If you don't, oh well. You already clicked on the video, so. But anyway, let's get started. So first things first, I have two pairs of shoes in this closet. The first one are these chunky ass heels by Steve Madden that I love so much. I do wish they were lighter because um, don't know if you can hear that, but they make a thud when they hit the ground because they're heavy as hell. But they're so cute and we're not getting rid of them. Love them dearly. Um, the other shoes I have, rain boots. I don't really need this intense rain boot here because I also have a front hand side, but like, I have a lot of life ahead of me. I could need them. It's like hoarder logic. Anyway, first things first, black t-shirts. The only concert t-shirt I own. The Half Alive most recent tour t-shirt. My husband and best friend dragged me to it. No hate, just not really my vibe, but I do like t-shirts. I have an assemblage of club t-shirts. So I love Markiplier, the YouTuber. Um, and he has a clothing brand called Cloak with Jacksepticeye, also a YouTuber. So I have four of their shirts, which I'm obviously not getting rid of because I got them because I like them. But I always buy t-shirts and then crop them. I don't like pulling t-shirts normally. Um, they just aren't the vibe, you know? I do have two things from Unis Anis, which I'm not gonna explain. If you were there, you know. So I have this, which is the coffin that I cropped. And then I got the crew neck sweatshirt. Oh, I forgot. I also got the um, plain black Momentum Mori sweatshirt from Unis Anis, and then my husband also got a plain black one. And then I bleach dyed mine, and then he wimped out and wouldn't let me bleach dye his. So his is all black and boring. Let's move on to shirts I have for Halloween. So first things first, me and my best friend have these to match each other. They say bougie. Dollywood t-shirt. Because we went to Dollywood last September. Well, Universal Orlando t-shirt. Because we went to, on our honeymoon in November, we went to Universal and Disney World. And then Universal had their little Halloween shop with everything, well, most everything like discounted because it was after Halloween. So you know I got me a Halloween shirt. An Oogie Boogie shirt. One of my favorite characters from Nightmare Before Christmas. That was from Hot Topic. And then I made this shirt on my bachelorette trip so that we, we made them so that we would all have matching shirts. So there's, they're bleach dyed and then boobs on, boobs on the boobs, you know? 
And then mine says bride on the back. And we wore these to Hollywood. Because that's where we went on my bachelorette trip. And I also have these three button ups from Spirit Halloween. That are nice prints. And the Sam from Trick or Treat one. So I have a pile of clothes that's just like sitting up that I think I meant to like purge slash go through and I just didn't. So this is a jumpsuit by Judy. So Gianni Dini. It's just like a wide leg jumpsuit that I got on sale. And I wore it a couple times and I really just don't think it's cute on me and I also just don't like the color on me. So first thing to purge. This is not getting purged. This is another jumpsuit. Um, it doesn't, it looks very pretty on, but it doesn't really match my vibe anymore. It's what I wore when I got engaged. Um, and my plan is to take important clothing from like my relationship and make like a relationship blanket quilt thing out of it. Don't expect that anytime soon. I'm talking like maybe in 10 years. Um, but that's what that's going to. This is a shirt that I got when we went on our honeymoon. That's also going there because I was like, you know, when I, like, outside of the honeymoon, I was wrong. And then this was a shirt that I got when I graduated. Class, it says class of 2020, virtually the greatest class of all time. Um, I went to Clemson. I graduated May of 2020. It was fucking awful. But I think my mom got me that shirt. I think so. They don't like get, they didn't give it this. Trust, trust and believe Clemson doesn't give you things. But my mom got me that because it's funny. So I also want to make a Clemson blanket because I have 50 billion Clemson shirts. So that's going towards the Clemson blanket pile. So I still consider that purging. You may not, but it's not in my closet. It's about to go into my other room where my sewing shit is. So I consider that purging. I love him dearly, but when he plays video games with headphones on, he starts yelling. Like, unconsciously. He has a microphone in them. Like, boy, he can hear you. But now all of us can hear you. Me and the lizard all of us it's just me and the lizard <laughs> i have this umbreon shirt my second favorite pokemon my first favorite pokemon is snorlax i love this shirt this is my pride right shirt that i got off of the Drawfee shop Drawfee is another um youtube channel that has merch um if you can't tell i like buying stuff from YouTubers, which is, I like supporting people that are good and that I like, and I will, I'm happy to support them. Basic culture crop. I found this trippy shirt on sale. I thought it was a vibe. I missed the cloak shirt. And this one isn't even cropped. How did I miss this? This is what, let's see. I think this is this was when Jack took over for a little bit because he's Irish and they made like an Irish collab and if you can't tell by the blinding white casperness of my skin tone I am Irish as well okay that needs to be cropped I don't know let me actually pull that out and I'll crop it that needs to be cropped I love this shirt me and my best friend have mashy ones it's just a little like black crop tank under this mesh. I said we were gonna go through my closet. I didn't say how much we were getting rid of. Thrift find. I cropped. 
beautiful, right? This was my first ever band t-shirt. I was in band for 11 years. I played clarinet for 11 years. Um, and this was in sixth grade, my first honor band, Shelby County Honor Band, 2010. And <laughs> the shirt, I guess, we they got me was like way too big. Well, it's kind of small, but it's like a women's small, I guess. Because I was in sixth grade, so I was like littler. But the shirt fits me to this day, and it has sentimental value. So we keep her. And I wear her on occasion. Eventually, she will be made into a blanket, probably. I really like blankets. Okay, now we're finally to stuff that some of the stuff that I'm considering purging. So we have this top. It's a navy blue polka dot crop with um, a little back opening. And then this has a nice, like, almost like a corset feature. But I swear I haven't worn her in like a year. And I know the rule is like, if you haven't worn it in six months, then you don't need it. Or like, whatever. So I'm kind of like, mm. I feel like she's not something that I'm going to wear. The next one is this funky girls this is an off the shoulder cropped um long sleeve and then it has thing fun bell sleeves i do really like this shirt and i have um bell bottom pants to go with it to go with it i have bell bottom jeans that look nice with it but like it has been at least a year and a half since I wore this because it's so bright and it's just not this, you know? So I think we're gonna get rid of her. This was a shirt from the Met that I dyed. Love my naked lady shirt. I got this Dollywood. Dolly Parton the Queen himself. Um, I got this from Target Pride last year and dyed it blue. Target Pride this year fucking sucked. It was absolute ass. I don't know who is in charge of Target because also their normal clothes suck. Like, ass. I didn't buy shit. And I don't buy their normal clothes either. Target's only good for like swimsuits and neutrals like you need a t-shirt you need a pair of jeans you need a pair of shorts like that's all the target's good for anymore because their actual like design shit is like a modest 1910 it's so weird and it's so ugly i saw some some people who have been reviewing like the new fall clothes or whatever and it's like long denim skirts it's like, mm, sweetheart, I'm not a part of that. I'm not a part of that group. Um, so here's another questionable one. I like this. It's another tank top with mesh ensemble that I bought at the same time as this. The problem is I've never worn it ever. It still has the tag on it. Like literally never worn it ever. So I feel like I'm not going to. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm laughing because I'm about to fill the space with clothes. I also got this at last year's uh, Target Pride bisexual finger gun shirt, which I love. I got this when I went to the Van Gogh exhibit that was like touring the country and cropped her it because if you can't tell um i really fuck with van gogh in this specific painting <laughs> it was my barbie shirt that i dyed because it was hot pink and we weren't gonna play that game oh i missed this one this is my other other halloween shirt it says me and my boo 
is two ghosts. I feel like this was also from a YouTuber. It was. I'm pretty sure this was um, Scotty Sire. I'm pretty sure. Years ago. I don't watch him anymore. <laughs> no, hey, I don't like those like vloggy like content anymore, I guess. Then I have some like nice neutrals for work. Can't get rid of those because I wear them for work. Um, I have a bunch of body suits that are also for work. I layer these um, usually underneath like cardigans and sweaters, like much more for winter time because layering in the summer it is asking to sweat to death. Um, also, I never close body suits. I don't know if that's just me, but I don't want this wedgie. This is like whoever makes body suits, this is so much fabric to put up your, your cooch. It really is. Like, I just unhook them and flip that thing underneath, you know? Because God, it's like you're being just abused the whole time. This is like clipped underneath you. Like, we're not babies anymore. Don't make me have pussy clips. This is my Game of Thrones shirt. I wear this when it gets cooler because it has, it's not fleece, but it's like a thick fabric. And so it is warm. I love this shirt. This is my long sleeve cropped um, black florals. I love dark floral fabric. Dark floral anything. I fuck with it so hard. And I've had people be like, that's grandma fabric. I crochet. I'm trying to do that for a living. I'm trying to grandma for a living. Okay, you're not hurting me or my feelings. I found this at Hot Topic. It's a long sleeved uh, Justice League shirt that looks like they made it look like a uh, like a band shirt because it has all their different cities. I'm much more of a Marvel Marvel girly when it comes to uh, heroes, and I like DC for villains. But um, currently, I don't like DC except for the animated because live action DC right now. Ain't it? It ain't it. This is an O'Neill shirt I got on sale. I normally don't care about like search shop stuff like O'Neill, but this has astrology stuff on the back. And it's like one of the first shirts I've seen with astrology stuff on the back, so I was like, yeah. Orange crop sweater. And then this is pen closed because this shit goes down to here and it doesn't close so better. Joanne Lady Gaga shirt. I got this at Route 21, I'm pretty sure. Love her. Nightmare before Christmas sweater. Crop stripey sweater. Love her. I have a bright blue sweater that I get a lot of compliments on because it brings out my eye. Then I have this emerald green sweater. It looks real, it looks black. It's emerald green and it's like a velvety yarn. Did not make it, I bought it. And I also have this sweater. I love sweaters in general, and I can also wear all these to work, except for the <coughs> Nightmare Before Christmas one. Crop hoodie. I wear this a lot in the winter. I have this neutral sweater that I only wear to work because it's boring and neutral. In the very back of my closet, I have clothes that I literally only wear to work. Like this like gross do i need them when was the last time i wore these 
I don't think I need these anymore. I have like these tops. I literally haven't worn these in over a year. So with these, we're gonna get rid of these ugly whores. Another shirt that I don't have to keep anymore. T-shirts. I feel like I could honestly wear this normally though. Cause it's just a black striped t-shirt. Let me pull this up here. So you're balanced on like one of those foam rollers and then a foam stand on top of that. You're leaning against an open door, which hat, you know? The vibes. So if you don't shave super often because it's really annoying, you just whip out some maxi dresses and no one knows, you know, tips and tricks. So, plain red work dress, a little less back. This is also a work dress. I have to wear something here, obviously, for work. But I got this for free. So, she's worth it. I love this dress. Um, this is by Free People, I believe pretty sure and it's just this like beautiful lattice the problem is it doesn't like being washed as you can see it's starting to come apart which is super annoying honestly because you should be made better um but i can fix that there's another blue dress that is also having some seam rip problems. Um, and then I ripped the elastic on the sleeves because they kept being way too tight on my arms. So I just ripped that because no one needs that. These are some contenders to get rid of. So I've had these for forever. My oldest friend gave them to me when we were literal children because she was getting rid of them. And they're just soft, breezy dresses. And I only wear them if I am like going to the pool as a pool cover up. So I'm thinking as I get rid of one and I keep the other one as like a pool cover up, right? So I like the blue one way more. So we're gonna get rid of the purple one. $12 dress from Walmart. Two colors because it's a nice $12 dress from Walmart. Sweater dress. This is a fun short dress, I will say. I also have two of these and I have beef um, because they're made by a brand called Angie and they shrink and they don't say they shrink and they shouldn't. Like, these should be pretty shrunk, but um, they aren't. If you wash them, they will shrink like a size. Like, they shrink a lot. Like, these used to go down to my knees, now they're mid thigh. So, I can still wear them. I got these as work dresses. I can still wear them if I put like leggings on underneath them, so, which is why I'm keeping them. But. I'm not buying shit from Angie anymore. This long maxi dress, it's like a tropical print. It's the only thing tropical that I have, even though I live in a tropical place. Body one piece thing. Um, it doesn't exactly fit anymore. I can't wear a bra with it or the buttons won't close. Um, but I can still squeeze in so we keep her. Now we get to my black dress collection. I'm wearing one of them. I have this one. I have two pairs of black overalls. Hear me out. Yes, they are the same. Um, first of all, they were on sale. Second of all, see, they still have the tag because I only wore one so far. So here's my thought. I put patches and shit on one and I didn't keep the other one like neutral. That was my plan. 
This one's similar to this one. So this is a romper that like hides in the front. And I've had this for years. I've worn it a lot, but I feel like I'm out of my romper era and into my maxi dress era. So I think I'm just gonna put that one. And then this is my other romper. Which same thing. I think I'm out of my romper era in in my maxi dress era. I love this dress. It is fucking itchy though. It's a distressed turtleneck. I don't know. Maybe if I put Fabnix fabric softener with it, I might be able to get it. Cause it's like a woolly material and so it's fucking itchy. But I have hope for her. But if I put her in like fabric softener thing, or if I Google other ways to soften fabric, I might be able to make her not as itchy, like bearable. Black sweater dress. I got one of these things. Where they're like the wide ass fucking pants. Blue pockets. I love this thing. I wear it all the time. I have a constant problem with pants and my legs because I have a petite torso and then my legs are extra long. So like if I buy pants, they need to stay long. They need to be 34, 34 inches like long. Normal pants are like 30 to 32. Those won't work for me. But then, so when skinny jeans first started to become a thing when I was a child, I couldn't get into them immediately because my feet were too big to fit into children's skinny jeans. I'm like a nine, nine and a half women's and I became that at an early age. And so the girl's skinny jeans would fit on my body, but my heel couldn't go through them. And so for a few years, I couldn't wear skinny jeans until I could wear women's size skinny jeans because my giant feet wouldn't fit through them. Fun facts with cats. Watch Here's another thing I'm considering getting rid of. This is a cardigan, but it's like a floor length cardigan. And I got it because Witch Vibe, but like it's so long that I don't wear it. So I think we're gonna get rid of it. Cause I'm like stepping on this when I wear it and it's a little much. I do also have this will cover up which is not super long so I do wear this one. This is a bridesmaid dress and a little bridesmaid robe that she gave us. I thrifted this. Normally I don't wear a pattern like this it's a lot but it's one of these skirts and these go all the way up. So I really be feeling myself when I wear this so I like this one pants I wear to work. Skirt. I also wear to work. Now I want this skirt to wear to work. And I haven't worn it. So I think we should get this shirt. Just get rid of her. I make fun of him like I don't play video games just this loudly, but you're only hearing my side, so oh well. These are tiny polka dot pants, also work pants. These are just plain black, also work pants. These pants make your butt look good. I love these pants. I got them at uh, Rue 21 and they also have a small flare at the bottom. They're so flattering. I love them so much. For, they sold them for like all of three weeks and then they were gone and they've never returned. I bought this two years ago and I wanted to get like three more pairs. Gone. Never to be seen again. Very upset about that. These are probably the most flattering pair of pants that I own. Skirts. And I love this skirt. So this skirt also has the double cut in the front, but it doesn't like go all the way up to your pussy. And then it's this nice like satiny fabric. I love it. 
This is my bat onesie. See that little ears look fine. I'm gonna check this shit out. Wing. I fucking love this onesie. Y'all know as soon as it's chilly outside, because this thing is entirely fleeced and it's hot as hell. Uh, but as soon as it's cold enough, this is all I wear. Flap around my apartment like a gremlin. I have two of these dresses. They're just like long satin dresses. They're meant to be like sleep dresses, but you could also wear them out. But they're so comfy. And I love them. They're like a Mew Mew, but like flattering. I love them. This dress, I got off of Amazon to wear at my uh, 21st birthday party. Because I wanted like a, it's like a 50s cut dress. So it's like extremely flattering. I loved her. And it has a cute corset in the back and then it's like a halter neck. I love her. I wore her that one time. Haven't worn her since. Just because the, the print is too much. I don't need her. So this is my prom dress. So it's a lace black long sleeve top cropped and then a huge yards and yards of fabric floral skirt and then i have also worn this so that was my prom set this and this because when i was this my the one time i went to prom was senior year um and i was like i better get a black prom dress because i'm gonna be on the word again because everyone else could see like bright prom dresses, where are you going to wear that again? I have worn this to multiple things, including I put this ensemble together for my engagement pictures. I love this dress. I'm so happy I can still fit into this dress. Love it. We're not getting rid of her. What's in here? I say it's like I don't know what's in here. I do know what's in here. But I haven't looked at it since my friend got married. <laughs> okay. So this robe is the robe that she got all of us um, to be matching. Super my style, I know, right? Um, and then this is the dress. And it's floor length. And this is a little um, shawl. And then it's a floor-length gown. The problem was that the bust didn't fit me right. And this was the second try. So I ordered a dress very similar to this and then didn't fit me well, didn't look flattering. So then I got this and both times I did it like you type, you put in your measurement so it's supposed to be sized to you. And then I got this one. The bust still didn't fit me right. It's too big now. The other time the bust was too small. Now the bust was too big. So I had gotten like a sticky bra to wear under it to kind of like make it fill out more. Cause by that point I like needed to wear it to the wedding. And then I had a horrible time trying to make the sticky bra not show. So I had this uh, safety pinned to the sticky bra during the ceremony. It was a, it was an experience, let me tell you. But like, I don't, I'm not doing And cute as this was, girly, this ain't my shit. But I'm also not gonna keep you, I don't think. So that's my whole closet. I do have shoes. I have shoes I need to go. You will see shoes next. Mm -hmm.